Hi there, Ken from Audio Talk. Now, you can run into this scenario here when you're building your own speakers. You have a, a, a small woofer or a woofer, and you have it connected directly to your amplifier, like your Class D amplifier, like this one right here. And you, you feel like the, um, the mid-range is, is very pressing, it's very loud, and, and, and also it's like if the, there's no bass because the mid-range is so loud. So you might have run across to somebody say to put in an inductor. It's essentially just a uh, spool of wire with a, uh, a little coat on so that, that it won't just like short itself out inside of here just if it was bare copper. So essentially like a spool of wire that creates an, what's called an inductance that is, has a fil filtrating effect uh, with different frequencies. So at a certain point, it will start to kill high frequency depending on its size. And something you can calculate what size you need at what point in the frequency um, spectrum that you want this to happen. That's, we're not gonna get into that in this video. Um, but f simply, if you get the information that somebody says you have to connect uh, one of these to, to kill some of this uh, breakup from the cone, which is essentially the problem. The breakup is when the, the cone here that's moving the air, is, it can no longer hold itself stable. It starts to like wiggle um, in the material and that creates a lot of, um, uh, some sounds would get really loud and some other ones would be low. So that's, um, that's what's called a breakup. And that sounds really harsh and in your face and that's not very pleasant to listen to. So there's a way to, to kind of uh, lower this uh, the mid-range in it and so that you will hear more of the bass essentially uh, so right now we have it directly this this speaker driver here connected directly to um, this amplifier right here plus to plus minus to minus and we want to connect this uh, inductor right here for that we just take off the plus here connect it to the inductor and then we take the other side of the inductor. Doesn't matter what order you're taking them at, but, um, and then you connect that to the plus. So now the plus signal from the amplifier is running through this inductor and into the speaker driver. And that will kill some mid range depending on its size. Another thing that's important is that if you find an old one where you have to can, you know, cut the, the wire, uh, because something old and dirty, some soldering points or whatever is on it, then just be aware that there is this layer on here that, um, uh, you know, this, this coat is on there. So you will have to use a knife to kind of like shave it off like that until you have bare copper to make it connections to like that electrically. So that's important, you do that in both ends so that you have a electrical connection because uh, um, that coat is an uh, is a, uh, isolator, you know, it's, it, it, it prevents electrical connection. Um, so yeah, so essentially that's it. Uh, if you have two speaker drivers and uh, you have a stereo amplifier like this one, you will have to do the same to the other side um, you can't use one inductor for, uh, for two speakers. You, you need one for each speaker driver right here. So you would do the exact same to the other side. So that, that way plus goes through the inductor and to the speaker driver. It's getting pretty messy up on this table here, right here. So I hope that clears it up, that's how you connect an inductor to your um, full range or your woofer to enhance the bass by lowering the level of your mid range. All right, I hope that makes sense. Here it's Ken from Audio Talk and have fun with your projects. Bye.